Today's video, we're going to discuss the pros and cons of box sets, whether it's right for you, whether it's a good gift for the holidays, just a bunch of different situations. What's up, YouTube? It's me, Joe Schmoe, and today we are discussing something that is kind of important to manga collectors, something that can help new collectors out. Or it can be detrimental, just depending on your situation. Box sets are something that was created to help older series or very popular series that have a lot of volumes or they are in high demand. For example, Demon Slayer has 23 volumes, I believe, in a full series, but it's very popular and a lot of stores, they stay out of, you know, out of stock. So what these box sets allow is for someone to pay X amount of money depending on the box set, how many volumes, et cetera, et cetera, to get all those volumes in X amount. And I say that because some of them are full series, which a majority of them are. Like Claymore here has all of them, and that's an older out of print set. Demon Slayer is still popular, anime is still coming out, but it has all of it because the manga is done. One Piece, which is currently and forever go ongoing, but has 115 volumes. So you can at least get the earlier ones up to like 70, 80. When it comes to box sets, they also make small ones. For example, Sweat and Soap has a four or five volume box set and it's super small. I don't have it on hand, but I'll put a picture beside me. So there's just a lot of different things that the box sets cover. Now, when it comes to the pros, as I stated, it allows you to get all the series or a good chunk of the series right off the bat. So like I said, Demon Slayer is out of print. And what this allows is for you to get all of Demon Slayer right here, all in one go, all volumed out, everything in order, all the way to the final volume where it ends. Now, the other thing is, it comes in a nice little carrying case. But before I go to that, I just want to say, one of the big pros is that with older, longer series like One Piece, you can get a good chunk of the series just by buying these box sets and for like i said before with them being out of print or with them being super popular on out of on like very high demand and out of stores these box sets allow you to cover that that area that you don't usually have so with one piece i think they go up to volume 80 or somewhere around there with the box sets which is huge 80 percent of the well 75% of the series is on the box sets, which is fantastic, especially if you're trying to collect everything. Like with Claymore, it's an older out of print series. You don't really get to see it much, but it's still popular and it's a mainstay for a lot of people and it has impacted a lot of people. So they went and remade the manga and made a box set. The other thing is you do save money when you buy these because each volume of Demon Slayer, for example, is $10. So instead of paying $230, you paid $180 for the box set, which you save 50 bucks. So if you want to buy the series up front, bam, you save 50 bucks. You can go use some gas or something else. One Piece is another good example. 23 volumes in the box set. Instead of paying 230, you paid 180 to 170, whatever they set it at. It's always cheaper than what the actual value of the manga is. So you save money. The other thing is you can put these boxes in the corner and you don't have to worry about displaying them if that's, you know, something you don't care about. You just put them up in the corner, call it a day. Now, the pro, uh, the cons. The, one of the big things is you can't display them. As you saw with Demon Slayer, it has artwork. Each spine has artwork. There's a lot of series out there that connect with the artwork. One series I love the artwork spines on is Bakamono Gatari. Each one is a different color volume. Each one has its own character art focusing on one character of that volume, and it stands out. And then like, for example, Dragon Ball, who also has a box set, they all connect. It's one big art mural. You can't see that if you have them stored in these boxes in the corner. The other con that, you know, is kind of big for people is this cost a bunch of money up front and if you can't afford that you know it's it, it's kind of a hindrance so for me personally because i like to display them i don't get these and i don't really have the room to stick the boxes in the corner so i buy each volume at a time it just it works better for me and each person's different i'm not saying this is every single person out there but everyone has their own way of collecting everyone has their own room they have their limitations and money being a very big limitation, especially nowadays. The other big factor for these is only very popular sets will get 
box sets. So, Full Metal Alchemist, Claymore, One Piece, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z's, Dragon Ball Super, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, those big names in anime and manga, they'll get box sets. Unlike, I don't know, Da Don Da Don, or Dimension W, or I'm Standing on a Million Lives. Something small, or something that's kind of like new, or under the radar, they're not gonna get box sets. Some may eventually down the road, if they end up becoming super big and super popular, but in reality, they're probably not. The reason why Sweat and Soap has one is because it's very popular among adults, and, well, you know, adults are the ones that are paying usually, so give them a box set. So let me know what you guys think. Those are my reasons, my pros, my cons that I sat down and thought about, and, uh, Big shout out to my roommate who's letting me use these box sets because he collects them for his stuff, which if you ever want to look at his collection, go to Patreon. Um, I posted an exclusive video when it comes to collecting manga and showed off his collection, showed off the living room because it's, as you can tell from behind me, there's a bunch of manga, but there's a bunch over here. There's a bunch over there. Anyway, go check it out. Patreon's free also. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about box sets. Let me know your experience. Let me know if you have any because I'm curious on what people have. Love you all. Appreciate you all. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.